going in. This is the quietest room in the world. According to guess. And now we are in the quietest room. The door is shut. I can't hear my heart beating. Too many people. quieter than the threshold of hearing, so if you're by yourself in here, you can start to hear your ears ringing quite a bit. And Unfortunately. <laughs> <coughs> um, I guess the only thing, the two special things about this room are that it's uh, anechoic, which basically means no echo. This this is just a damped, this is a green glue piece of, two o sheets of OSB green glued together we use for a reflecting plane. Most of the tests are to be uh, recorded like at one meter above a reflecting plane or something mm. like that. So the full anechoic chamber, if you just take these boards out of here, you know, you just walk on the wire. But uh, a lot of tests are up for above a reflecting plane, so I just throw these things in here. Why is that? Because I think it's more common for people to have a hemi or semi anechoic chambers okay. where it's just a hard floor and a okay. everything else anechoic. Uh -huh. And then I think also they think it's more representative of, a little more representative of real world conditions. But the problem with above the reflecting plane is with such a controlled environment, or I guess in any room, especially in this room, you get, you don't have a lot of different, uh, you know, bounces except for the floor so there's just one huge notch in the response from the mm. if you're measuring the device at a meter and it's a meter above the floor you know the time arrival sure. is different so you get a phase cancellation and adding so it just puts a weird response in there mm. so it makes a difference you know exact you know how high it is off the reflecting plane and everything like that yeah so the other yeah it's no echo, and then also uh, just by the design of the whole thing and the way it is, it's just really quiet. And uh, there's probably a lot, you know, different quieter places around, but we were just able to measure it. It's really too low to measure, but we did the best we could. And five below the threshold. I think our, our measurement was minus nine dBA. But just even with we have low noise microphones. You know, we have a lot of little, but even that little one, expensive one behind you, that the noise floor of that is probably around 12 dBA. And then you get a one-inch mic, and then it's maybe around two, or 